And lots of people become suicidal because they can't bear the conditions of their own existence. And suffering is real and it's inescapable. So the question is, what do you do about it? You notice in your own life, and, and you can do this by watching your own life. Now, I often ask my clients to do this. Say, look, watch your life for a week. And pretend you don't know who you are, because you don't know who you are at all. What you understand most about yourself are the arbitrary presuppositions that you use to hem yourself in. And you act as if those presuppositions are true, so that the revelation of the full nature of your character won't terrify you. People hide in their own boxes, and it's not surprising, but it's not a good idea, because life is too hard to hide in a box. You can't manage it if you do that. If you watch yourself for a week, you'll see certain things. You'll see some of the time that you're resentful and annoyed. And those are times when you're either taking advantage of yourself or you're thinking improperly. Some of the time you'll be bored, in which case you're either undisciplined or you're probably pursuing something you don't want to pursue. And some of the time you'll actually be engaged in life. And the times that you're engaged in life, you won't notice that you're there. Right? The dis distinction between subject and object disappears when you're engaged in something that you find meaningful. The purpose of life, as far as I can tell from studying mythology and from studying psychology for decades, is to find a mode of being that's so meaningful that the fact that life is suffering is no longer relevant. Or maybe that it's even acceptable. And I would say as well that people know when they're doing that. You know when you're doing that in part because you're no longer resentful. You think, geez, I could do this forever. Right? There's a timelessness, a timelessness that's associated with that state of being. From a mythological perspective, that's equivalent to brief habitation of the kingdom of God. That's the place where you are that's so meaningful that it enables you to bear the harsh preconditions of life without becoming resentful, bitter, or cruel. And there's nothing that you can pursue in your life that will be half as useful as that.